This is a short introduction to the installation and use of the Zero appliances ZLF 100 litre and ZLF 150 litre AC units. After the unit has been uncrated, unpacked and all packaging material has been removed, it can be placed in position. The unit is on four casters which uh, allows it to move freely on wheels. Uh, the two casters on the hinge side of the fridge are swivel casters so the unit can be easily pushed into position. A gap of about 100 millimeters should be between the wall and the back of the unit to allow ventilation all around the unit. And once the unit is in position, the wheels need to be locked by simply pushing down on the locking levers until they latch into position. Once the unit has been moved into position, if you open the unit by slipping the latches on the door, inside you will find accessories that have come with the unit. There will be a blue dye to colour the water that goes into the unit. A large funnel for filling the unit. And a drip tray to catch condensate as it pulls out the bottom of the unit. The drip tray unit has a hole in the top of it and an integral handle moved into the bottom. The drip tray is fitted to the unit by placing it in the guide rail under the unit and slid in firmly into position. The unit is supplied with three shelves. These shelves may be placed in any of the runners provided in the body liner. Ensure that the bottom set of runners has the shelf installed in it, otherwise the vaccine storage boxes will be prone to getting damp from condensate. The next uh, procedure that needs to be completed is to get the dye into the water holding tank. The water holding tank is as access to the top panel of the unit and the lid is simply screwed off. The funnel is placed in the hole. The dye bottle is opened. And the dye is poured into the unit. The unit now needs to be filled with water. The water that needs to be used needs to be drinkable water. Uh, the 100 litre AC unit will take approximately 125 litres of water and the ZLF 150 will take approximately 160 litres of water. A 25 litre container or a 20, 20 litre container can be filled with water and just into the unit as required until the unit is full. The unit needs to be filled to just below the level of the, the neck as can be seen in the video and once the unit is full to this point the cap needs to be placed back on the neck and just tightened. Your unit is now ready for connection to the electrical power supply. You can now connect the unit to the power supply, taking the uh, plug provided, place it in the wall socket. And switch on the wall socket. The unit should now start running.
if the unit has been correctly connected and the power is uh, all in order, the red indicator light will come on and the unit will start running and the fans on the top of the unit will start running as you can hear as happened here. Due to the unique technology incorporated in these units, there are no user um, temperature controls available. The temperature will be displayed on a solar thermometer and the unit will deliver temperatures of between 4 and 6 degrees centigrade. After the unit has been switched on, the temperature on the thermometer needs to be monitored. When that temperature stabilizes at between 4 and 6 degrees Celsius, the vaccine load may be put inside the unit. The unit will take anything between uh, 10 hours and 48 hours before it stabilizes. Uh, the unit is dependent on ambient environment and depending on the ambient environment, this will affect the go down time of the unit until it stabilizes. The daily and weekly maintenance tasks that need to be performed are as follows. On a daily basis, the temperature should be checked to see that it is within specification. On a weekly basis, the unit needs to be opened. A clean absorbent cloth is to be used to wipe any condensate on the face of the door. And on the seals, And on the face of the cabinet, and the condensate drip tray needs to be checked. If there's liquid in it, will be observed in the front of the drip tray. So it's simply slip out on its rails. The plug at the end of the unit removed. The water pulled out. The plug re firmly replaced. unit returned to its position with the hole at the back and the handle in the front.